welcome to the 34th day number 34 of the 80 day still water fast at about 7.50 in the morning Saturday says August 23rd 2014 and it's the 34th day uh, of the 80 day distill water fast and again my emphasis is in the distill water that's what I want to do by example here teach by example that you can actually live on the still water and do pretty good as a matter of fact that's the only water you need to live on but somehow it has been put in YouTube on other places that if you use drink the still water is going to bleach out all your minerals you know and eventually it's going to kill you you know what happens is you're going to get healed so fast you know that you know the medical profession is not gonna get a, a hold of you to, to see you for any reason as you can see in most of the the things that have been going on I have been like uh, showing that the blood pressure has been pretty good uh, you know and, uh, and I've been walking so stamina has been there so the still water is just gonna heal you fast. Sorry. Oh, somebody over there. So, it's important to understand. Uh, you know, that's the reason why I'm doing this. And it's 80 day, because I figure I got, I got careless and I, because I have gone down to 133 at one point, my first, 40 day fast because I have been intermittent, intermittently fasting for a while and then when I started I was you know like 170 something and then it was easy to go down to 133 so I, I got careless and I went up to 221 you know remember at one point the highest I was I had been was a 358 pounds so you know but like I said, I got careless and this time I thought I'll, I'll do it an 80 day, probably will get me back to where I was at one point. And it seems to be working pretty good. As of yesterday, it was uh, 185 pounds. Total loss was 36 pounds since I started in a, in a 33 day period. So it's doing pretty good. I'm very encouraged by the way the Lord is working this out. <coughs> but back to this you know I'm gonna go out in the afternoon today I'm gonna go for a couple of, of hour walk right in the morning maybe an hour and a half in the afternoon later on so catch with you later <coughs> okay still almost two hours now into the walk in the morning I just thought right now I had a thought as I was walking meditating on the Word of God and on the Word as the Word is the like a body, the body of confession, or body of revelation, I call it. You know, because a body is a group of things working together as one. You know, it's the body of oceans. You know, uh, there's the student body, and there's this body of flesh. But I was just thinking right now, if you never discover how to be fully satisfied, in the body of words, you know, all the ideas and concepts that work together as one to reveal, you know, how everything works, and who you are, who made you, and all of that. If you never discover how to be satisfied and fully pleased in the body of revelation and confession, which means the body of words that lives within you, then you will never be fully pleased and satisfied in the body of flesh that you think that you live for and that you're committed to preserve and keep even unto eternity. Something to think about. No matter how much abundance you get out of this world for the body of flesh, you will always crave for more. There will be something new that you haven't experienced yet. You know, so there's never an end to that. You will always thirst again, but if you learn to discover how to be fully pleased and satisfied, 
in the body of words, you know, then that's something worth your existence. I just thought I mentioned that something I was thinking as I was walking. Okay, still Saturday, August 23rd, 2014, still the afternoon now, it's about almost 7 o'clock. And uh, still, 34th day of the fast. And I'm going for my walk, afternoon or evening walk now. You know, see how we're going to do it here at uh, Rite Aid. And um, so far I didn't work today. I was preparing for that soup that I do for tomorrow. Getting the ingredients for that. I went to the market. I, I went to Goodwill this morning and bought me like a camouflage army pants. First time I had one of those. Very nice price there. $2.79. Got me this t-shirt for a buck. But I mean, 99 cents. So what can I tell you? I like to be thrifty. Still look good. Uh, but in any event, here we are, heading on down to Rite Aid. I should be there in about 45 minutes. Uh, okay, talk to you then. Welcome to the Higgy Station. Click next to get going. Are you a guy or a gal? How tall are you? When were you born? So, does this sound like you? Let's check your blood pressure and pulse. Place your left arm in the cup. Turn your palm to the sky. Relax and breathe normally. Press begin to get started. If you'd like to cancel this test at any time, press the red stop button above the screen. Breathe easy. Clear your mind. Just keep breathing normally. Nice and relaxed. Excellent. And we're done. Here are your results. Let's check your weight and body mass index. Sit in the middle of the seat. Place both feet on the bar below. Press begin to get started. Great job! Here's your Higgy score. Want to track your Higgy score and stats? Click Save Results below. Okay. 